This video is a reference for each of the Generation 1 Pokemon Cries. If you haven't watched the video that explains how everything works, I suggest you watch that first if you really want to understand what's going on. However, I do think what is shown in this video is intuitive enough that you can understand the general idea of without going into too much detail. There are a couple differences between what is in this video and the previous one. The first is that each of the notes relative position vertically will now update along with the pitch adjustment parameter. When a note's frequency wraps around after reaching 2047, it will drop down as well. The second change is a small correction dealing with the point in time when the noise channel ignores pitch adjustments. Previously, this orange line represented the frame at which the pulse channel notes end and the point at which the noise channel will revert to the original frequency parameters. These notes are shown in yellow. However, this is incorrect, and the actual frame is one before this orange line. This is because on this frame, the channels are evaluated in order of pulse, then noise. On the frame that the pulse channels conclude, the noise channel reverts, so here it looks like it reverts on the frame before, but when in reality it's the same frame, just due to the order of execution. This orange line will be replaced with this orange box to show when this change occurs. This mistake affects a few Pokemon's cries, including Staryu that was shown in the previous video. This correction has also been made on the Pokemon Cry Synthesizer web app. With these points out of the way, please enjoy this visual representation of all 151 Generation 1 Pokemon Cries.